Hey class, it's Mr. Rutz, and we're going to go through a design brief and what kind of information you're going to need to put into it. So, let's get started. One way to define the problem is through the use of a design brief. It has all the information. This concise or simple document, no more than one page, identifies the client, states his or her problem, or need, details the degree to which the engineer will carry out the solution, or how you will fix the problem, and lists the rules and limits with which the engineer must perform. Those are our criteria and constraints. So here is a finished design brief for a locker. Okay, it's just all the information that you need in order to finish a design project. And it's between the client, or the person who's buying your help, and the designer, or you, the engineer. The client is a person, company, organization, or target consumer group whose problem requires the talents of an engineer or designer to develop a physical solution. That would be anyone who comes to you for help with a problem. The designer is you the creative problem solver or engineer. The problem statement basically says what the client is having trouble with. So for this example, my school locker is a mess. I can never find a pen, pencil, or calculator. My homework is always getting lost, and my lunch gets crushed under a sea of books and binders. Because of the clutter, it is hard to close my locker door completely. So that is the problem that John Q. Public is having. Here's a good example. It's the same one, so I'm going to skip it. But basically, it doesn't say anything about the solution. It just says what the problem is for the client. The design statement is the challenge for the engineer or designer. So it challenges the engineer to take action to address the problem and the need to solve the problem. So for this problem that John Q. Public has, Jane P. Smith, our engineer, is challenged to design, model, and test a high school logger, locker organization system that will neatly contain items commonly used and kept at school. Constraints are our limitations. For our constraints, we have four class periods to finish this, so time would be one of our constraints. I'm also limiting the amount of uh, the, the complexity of your design. It should have at least five pieces, but no more than ten individual pieces. For instance, a table has four legs and one surface. That would be five pieces. So it can be thought as guidelines that must be followed or rules that must not be broken. Safety, budget, codes, physical attributes. So if you have any colors that you require in your final design, that would also be here. Deliverables. That means, basically, what will you deliver at the end of this project? And by you, I mean the designer. So it's the end products that the engineer, designer, and client decide are appropriate for this design problem. Once these deliverables are finished, the project is done. So, just to recap, you will be responsible for making a design brief. You will need your client, as well as yourself listed. You need to find out the problem. So basically, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to find a solution for? Design statement would be what you need to do that will solve the problem. The constraints are your limitations. Uh, you can also list criteria here. And your deliverables are the final pieces that are involved in order to call this project done. If you have questions, please ask Mr. Rutz.